Hi, this is Jesse Liberty for Telerik, and today we're going to talk about the RAD slider control. RAD slider works very much like the slider control that you get standard with Silverlight. However, we do add some powerful features to make this an enhanced control. To get started with RAD slider, let's open up Visual Studio, create a new project, and call that new project RAD slider getting started. We're going to make that a RAD Controls for Silverlight application. We'll click OK and we'll click OK on Silverlight 5. That'll bring up the Telerik configuration wizard and we just need to check controls and click finish. Creating the RAD slider is very very straightforward. As soon as Visual Studio settles down we'll be in the XAML. We're going to come over to the XAML and declare our rad slider control that's in the Telerik namespace of course we'll choose rad slider let's give our rad slider a name so we'll name that x slider and now we're going to set some attributes of our rad slider the slider can have a minimum and a maximum value we'll set that at 0 and 100 but you can set that whatever values make sense in your application small change is how much each incremental movement is going to be and we're going to make that one. We'll initialize it with a value of five. With that in place and all of those attributes set, we are ready to run our application. When the browser comes up, you can see the sliders in place. It's very simple and sparse and also takes up the entire width of the control. Let's see if we can enhance this just a little bit even in our getting started. First of all, let's give that a width so that it does not take up the entire expanse of the browser. So we'll set a width of 300. We'd also like to know what the value is. And here we can create a text block and tie the text block's text to the value of our slider by binding to the value property and setting the element name to the name of our slider, that is X slider. That's all you have to do to get the binding working. Let's add a stack panel so that these do not come out on top of each other. We'll have them be side by side, so we'll set up a stack panel and set its orientation to horizontal, and we'll put the closing stack panel at the below the text block. And then within the text block, let's just set a small margin on the left to give a little bit of room. Okay, we're now ready to run this application once again. And you can see this has made quite a bit of difference. Our slider now takes up a limited space within the page. And as we move it, the value is reflected on the right in the text block. I hope you've seen how very easy it is to add a RAD slider to your application. For Telerik, this is Jesse Liberty. Thank you very much. And I look forward to talking with you again very soon.